Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I have another exciting video today. Um, this concealer has been super hyped up and I actually watched when um, Tati did her video on this, I watched it and then I actually got sent this in PR, which is pretty cool. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna see what all the hype is about. I always think it's really interesting to see how my opinion stacks up to kind of the hype and products that maybe go viral or that are just really popular. I always think it's it's, it's fun to see what I think about those products because oftentimes I don't agree with a lot of the hype. So anyway, the concealer we're gonna be talking about is this new Catrice, um, what is this? True Skin High Coverage Concealer. So this is not gonna be a first impressions. I did wear this all day yesterday because I just, couldn't help myself like I just wanted to try it out but also I think this can be nice because I don't find first impressions to be very helpful um so I have worn it for a full day already I'm gonna apply it today and wear it for a little bit and then I'll let you know what I think so before we get into that make sure you grab a drink grab a snack I've got my yummy smoothie for the day and let's get into it all right so like I mentioned this is the Catrice uh, True Skin High Cover Concealer. So I was super blessed and got the uh, PR package for this. So I have a ton of shades. I think this is all of the shades. Say 15 shades. Yeah, 15 shades. Retails for $7. It's oil-free, vegan, paraben-free, cruelty-free. This is available on Catrice's website and Amazon. Um, I think Ulta has completely removed... All of their Catrice inventory. I think they have a few things on there, but I don't think Ulta is carrying Catrice anymore. But Amazon definitely has this concealer. They also have the foundation that I know is super hyped up as well. Um, so you can buy all the products on Amazon and then, of course, their website. But yeah, so I wore this all day yesterday and I'm just going to give you my initial thoughts and then we'll dive in. So this is full coverage, very, very full coverage. Um, it's a little bit of a creamier, kind of thicker texture, but not too, too thick. And I think the closest thing that this reminds me of is the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Camo Concealer. Not the original camo, the Hydrating Camo Concealer. So I was actually pleasantly surprised with this concealer yesterday. It has great coverage, looked beautiful on the skin. I felt like my only complaint... Sorry, it's my dog. My only complaint with it, I did experience um, a lot of creasing on my under eye. So I'm going to try out um, applying it a little bit differently today. But yeah, so I'm going to use this as bronzer. I'm going to try and use this as like, I'm going to try and use this as cream bronzer. I'm going to use it as um, coverage and then I'm also maybe a little bit of highlighting. I don't know. Um, I am going to apply a little bit of a base though before I go in with this and I thought I would use my Inner Beauty Skin Tint Foundation. If you haven't seen that, I did a review on this brand. It was more of like a first impressions, um, but I'm just still actively trying out, the, out this foundation. I loved this product. This was so good. It's very, 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 very light coverage. So I figured today this would be a nice base before we dive into the concealer so you can actually see the coverage of the concealer. It's hard to kind of see the coverage if you already have a full coverage foundation, you know? So I'm gonna take this, um, this is in the shade Fawn. Let me get a mirror. All right, so this tinted moisturizer skin tint is very, very, very sheer. I honestly don't have that much coverage, but I think just laying down a little bit of something uh, before going in this concealer, I just wanted to put a little bit of something on my skin, but we should be able to, or you should be able to see the coverage when I apply the concealer. A really quick update though, on this skin tint, it oxidizes like crazy. I know I mentioned that in the video where I was testing it out, but yeah, it definitely oxidizes. So if you're not sure about what shade to get, I would kind of go on the lighter side. So anyway, let's get into the product that we're actually here to see. So like I mentioned, this is the True Skin High Cover Concealer. I'll go and insert swatches of all 15 shades here, um, just so you can see what they look like. 
Um, and yesterday I did play around with a few different shades. Three shades that worked the best for me were 018 Cool Rose, 020 Warm Beige, and 032 Neutral Biscuit. So these are the three shades that worked for me. This is 018 Cool Rose. All right, so this is 020 Warm Beige. So 018 Cool Rose, 020 Warm Beige. And I just love the undertone of Neutral Biscuit. So those are the three shades. They actually look really light on my hand. Um, yeah, they worked, they worked really well for me. The next shade up, which was 033 Cool Almond. I think I actually did try this shade and it technically worked. Um, see, like on my hand, I feel like that looks really good. Honestly, I feel like they all look the same on camera. And then I did want to swatch the darkest shade, which is, if I can get it out of the box. I already showed you the full range, but I'll go and just swatch it right now. So this is 094 Warm Cocoa. So this is the deepest shade. And then since we're doing it, we might as well, let's swatch the lightest shade, which is 001 Neutral Swan. All right, so lightest shade, darkest shade. What do we think? I don't know. And then these are kind of all my shades. Hmm, I don't know if I wanna do warm beige, warm beige or neutral biscuit. I'm gonna start with warm beige, 020 warm beige and if i want to add i might do biscuit maybe on the face but i'm gonna do warm beige on my under eyes let me scooch y'all in okay so again zero two zero warm beige see i even think that's a little light maybe i will go in with neutral biscuit a little goes a long way and i loved blending it out with the sponge because it is so full coverage the sponge, I don't know. When working with full coverage concealers, I just prefer a sponge. I feel like it just picks up any extra, never kind of minimizes the heaviness. Um, and another thing I found yesterday is if you let it sit on the skin, kind of dry down a little bit, you get a lot more coverage. That's pretty standard for a lot of concealers, but some concealers set down really quickly, so you can't really do this method. But with this concealer, you can definitely let it sit, kind of dry down a little bit, and you will get more coverage. But yeah, it blends out super easily. I think it has fantastic coverage. I didn't apply that much, and I am totally fine with that on my under eye. I think it looks really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend out this side. Um, definitely has a very hydrating look. It doesn't look greasy or oily but it has a slight shine to it. Um, it doesn't feel dry on the skin. And just with the under eye, I'm going a little bit lighter today. I feel like maybe I went too heavy handed yesterday and that's why I experienced kind of more creasing than normal. I always experience a little bit of creasing on the under eye, but yesterday it was a little much. So I think I'm just going to take it a little easy on the under eye and not apply so much because now I know, you know it has a lot of coverage and I don't need that much. All right, so I'm gonna go in with, if I can find it. Ooh, where did I put it? Neutral Biscuit, 032 Neutral Biscuit. And I'm gonna use this on the rest of the face for coverage. Oh yeah, see, I like this shade a lot more. Almost has a little bit of an oliviness to it. I'm gonna let this sit for a second and then I'll blend it out. Yeah, yesterday I used a different foundation, and I feel like because the foundation I used today, it oxidized so much, it's a little deeper. I think that's why these shades are looking a little bit different today. Because yesterday I felt like Neutral Biscuit was almost a little dark for me. But I think because this foundation oxidized, it's looking a little lighter on me today. But it's definitely working. But yeah, really pretty all over the face, really great coverage. Has a tiny bit, tiny bit of a dewiness to it but it's nothing overwhelming or, I don't think those of y'all with oilier skin type will be bothered by it. All right, so let's just play around here. So that was 032 
neutral biscuit. Let's dig into, ooh, what does this look like? So this is warm olive. Yeah, that's very olivey. That's gonna be too dark. Let's try, I feel like cool almond is gonna be too cool. I kinda just wanna see what it looks like. See, this is cool almond, 033 cool almond, and I actually love that shade. I don't find that to be too cool. It's almost more of like a peachiness, which I think I like the best. So I think if I were to pick a shade right now that I like the most, it would be this cool almond shade. Yeah, it's more, it more has more like a peachiness to it. Whereas the neutral biscuit, I feel like had a little bit more green in it, more olive. And again, it's all relative to the foundation I have underneath. It's not accentuating dryness or texture. All right, I like that. So I'm gonna use uh, one of these shades as bronzer and that'll also add some more coverage as well, which is nice. So you don't have to go super heavy with the concealer if you wanna use it as bronzer as well, cause that'll, that'll help conceal if you have breakouts on your cheeks or redness or whatever. All right, so this is neutral fudge. It's very warm. This is the next shade, which is 090 Cool Espresso. Ooh, wow, look at the difference between those. So this was 060. Oh, did I miss some shades? So I have all 15 shades. I'm wondering if they're going to fill in the shade gap at some point, because that's a really big jump. 060 to 090, and it's a big jump in number, so maybe they're going to throw in some more shades in between those two at some point. All right, so 090 Cool Espresso. We'll use this as bronzer today. I'm gonna try and remove as much as possible. Now, if I wanted to play it safe, I would apply it to my hand, use a brush, apply it that way, but we're just gonna go in. It does blend out pretty easily, so shouldn't have too many issues here. All right, let's start with that. Oh, that's nice. That blended out really nicely. Okay, so let's take some up here. Went a little heavy there. And uh, you could even mix this in with your normal concealer shade um, just to kind of soften it up a bit. I'm going to take my sponge here, just blend that out. The good thing is, though, it blends out so nicely. You know what, this is also reminding me of the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I think the finish, the coverage, like even the way it looks makes my kind of pores look. It reminds me a lot of the Hourglass Concealer. The Hourglass Concealer and the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, which I think the Hourglass and e.l.f. Concealers are actually quite similar. The e.l.f. one doesn't set down quite as much as the Hourglass one but they're both pretty similar. And this is kind of reminding me of both of those as well. So that is the concealer for coverage. Bronzer, you could even go back in with your concealer shade and kind of clean up if you wanted to or highlight. Um, but what do we think? I think it looks beautiful. And this is kind of the same experience I had yesterday. Um, it wore really, really well. And I think because I applied a little bit less under my eyes, I'm not seeing as much creasing. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but it definitely creases more than what I'm used to, more than other concealers that I use. I am gonna go ahead and set this down so that it stays in place. I'm just gonna use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Micro Finishing Loose Powder. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through the rest of my makeup. I will, of course, have all of the products that I use today listed in the description box. All right, guys, makeup is on. The sun is finally starting to come out. Um, but this is what all the products look like on top of the concealer. And I'm going to have to say, this is worth the hype. This is a fantastic concealer. I think the shade range definitely needs some work. Um, but other than that, this is beautiful. This is definitely my kind of concealer where it's hydrating. It's got a little bit more of a skin-like finish but it also packs a punch and has really good coverage. And I would say it hits the mark on all three of those. 
It looks really good. You honestly probably don't even need to wear foundation underneath. That's probably how I'm going to try it the next time I use it. Just skip the skin tint altogether. Just find different shades that match different parts of my face. Just kind of since I do have a lot of shades to choose from. But yeah, this concealer is great. Not just because it's $7. The fact that it's $7 just kind of blows my mind. But it's actually really, really good. If you layer too much of it, it does get a little heavy. But other than that, it looks really, really good. So super excited to try this out. I actually, this makes me want to try the foundation because um, this concealer is so nice. And this is actually a product that is worth the hype. It, it's, it doesn't happen very often, but I actually think that this is a lovely concealer. If you like coverage, if you like something that's a little bit more hydrating and a little bit more leaning on the dewy side, and you don't mind maybe a thicker texture, I think you'll really enjoy this. It's long wearing, just a really beautiful, beautiful product. But yeah, I'm really enjoying just kind of sitting here in my office and just putting makeup on and playing and not doing the whole production. And from the feedback that I'm getting from y'all, y'all seem to really enjoy this setup as well. So I'm gonna try and do this more often. Wow, the sun is popping, is popping. But look at that. Now we can actually see what everything looks like. So I'm actually wearing the Rare Liquid Luminizer in Enlightened. That's what I have on my cheek. So that's where that glow is coming from. This isn't just, that's just the concealer. So all that is the concealer. This is my highlighter. So like I said, you can, it has a nice sheen to it. But yeah, so I'm just kind of enjoying sitting here and doing my makeup with y'all and just kind of kicking it old school YouTube style. And um, we'll still do stuff in the studio, but I just like doing these more chill videos right here. Just kind of, you know, it's like you're in here with, in my office and we're just chatting about makeup. We're just talking about what we like and we don't like. So anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me in my office today. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. You are worth See